Gemini. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. Gemini, Sun, Moon. Whoa. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs. Well, okay. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to your Gemini. Love tarot reading. Gemini, love reading. Gemini, it's very often the case here that your readings are including channeled love messages, Gemini love messages reading. So welcome again. You could be here. By the way, the sun has obviously come down wanting to be your first card. So this is a really happy outcome that we're seeing here, Gemini. I love this for you. And it's today's, the lighting is changing here today too. Very interesting. Yeah, the sun is it's literally changing everything. It's illuminating everything. You can literally saw the light changing here. This is a new cycle coming here for you, Gemini. It's a renewal. It's a completion of what? What have you been striving for? It's a new beginning. Deducing into a one, the potential, the opportunity here to work things out. The sun is the life force. It's the sun. I mean, you needed to grow, to grow pentacles, you know? Everything is symbiotic. Everything's working together. All the elements, water, air, earth, and fire. And the sun, of course, is <laughs> the component here. Leo energy, the source, God, goddess, the universe, the divine, spirit guides, angels, ancestors. What is that for you? But it's working on this happy outcome, literally illuminating everything, changing the way things are being seen, the way what, seeing things that are there that, yeah, maybe weren't seen in the same way. Look what's also here at the cut deck. It's the muse of inspiration. That is the king of wands. And it's here with the three of voices. This is cancer and energy. It's mercury and cancer energy. This is a soul connection for sure. And it's also a reunion energy, a celebratory energy. So it can be you're going to see your person for some of you. But it's communication regardless because it's mercury and cancer and it is around the love. It's emotional connection. It's the divine divine timing, communication, and growth. And that Mercury energy is about, it's the planet of the mind, the planet of communication. So they're thinking about it. Are they thinking about when they're going to see you, where they're going to see you? Are they organizing it? Are they sending a message? Because Mercury oftentimes is connected to reading and writing. And this would be, I would say, a very emotional message. Either way, this king of wands is getting ready here. Look to walk toward the moon in this energy toward the moon and that's the emotional energy it's a lot of emotional but what have they been hiding back what have they been hiding because look at the moon here of course there's the sun it's the conscious and that's the subconscious everything that's been hidden or not seen the lighting changed at the very beginning of your reading gemini they're walking here seeing things very differently seeing this connection in a way that maybe they haven't before all right again let's see how this is playing out when and where You'll be seeing each other or communicating, should that be the case, if it's not in person. You can see that there's something changing here. Okay, so <laughs> it's going really fast. And I just need to finish saying a few things, okay? Welcome again to your reading, Gemini, your Gemini tarot reading, Gemini love reading. Again, a lot of times, almost always at the tarot closet, Gemini love messages. And those are messages from your person, channeled love messages from your person messages from their higher self. I'm channeling for you in October 2023, and you could be here, Gemini, in October, but you could also be here many months or years later, and that's because your reading is a timeless reading. You're here when you're meant to be here. There is a, well, yeah, this is a faded connection. It means there's a message here for you. So welcome again. All the decks that are coming in are below. So feel free to check those out. Also, all the playlists, all Zodiac signs, all signs love tarot readings. I think I'm calling those love tarot, love messages, that playlist. If you're on a twin flame journey, there are a lot of very long in-depth twin flame readings So and more. So feel free to check the playlists out if you're inspired to do so. Remember, this is a general tarot reading, so take what resonates and let the rest go. And I would like to take this time to invite you to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. Really helps keep the channel moving. So thank you for that. And it goes without saying, thank you for being here today. I love you very much. I appreciate it. Gemini, let's see what else is going on because my throat chakra <laughs> is already acting funny too. The lighting, things are different. Something is being 
yeah, it's, it's changing here. It's real clear. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. I hope. It's the star energy. Yeah, a lot of illumination energy here. Gemini, this is Aquarius energy. And of course, it's a major arcana. It's the star card. It's Uranus energy. Everything is changing here. The illumination is palpable. You know, the hope, what you've been waiting for, the renewal is quite literally coming here. Is somebody getting clear of how they feel? Are you getting clarity about how they feel? It's both for me. Look, holding on here, sort of cradling the star energy. There's the emotional energy coming through here too. Look, it's leading right up. And it's kind of like the water bearer energy um, of Aquarius. But it's also that emotional energy that's here. And the star card is a 17. That's making it an 8. And that's an energy by the way, of healing. It's Mother Earth, Gaia energy. And that's an action too. It's somebody it's accomplishing something here. It's emotional healing. It's having faith for that and what you've literally been waiting for. There is a biggest wish energy here too. We know this is a faded connection. It's just, well, I was going to say not even, <laughs> not even a question for me. Yeah, so let's see where else this is going. You never know, you know, but this is just for me very clear. Okay, it's the chariot card in the upright. These are yours as well. It's the five of emotions in reverse and it's the page of inspiration. Very interesting combination. The five of emotions, that's the five of cups. It's Mars and Scorpio energy. And Gemini, this is, it's really clear that you're in each other's energy. It's also telling us what we already know, that this is a no contact, no communication and or and separation energy. So the loss here, you know, that is the five of cops. It's the loss of the connection and, and well, yeah. And by the way, it's the emotional energy. So there's a lot of emotion around it. And of course, it's around the love as well. They have regret for leaving you feeling like they didn't love you and this is coming in reverse so they're asking for forgiveness here and the hope that's coming in for that what you've been waiting for we see it's coming they're seeing things so everything's being shown here so all the good and all the bad the chariot card and your partnership placement in the upright i mean look at that the hope, the renewal, it's all coming here. It's an apology also coming, quite literally. And it can't even be a physical energy of somebody traveling, you know, planes, trains, automobiles, horses. Yin yang energy here and the coloring of the horses. And that's a freeing energy and it's obviously a moving energy. That is the chariot energy, you know. It's action, it's change within this connection. And with your person too, I mean, you can see they're giving into it. You know, look where it's connecting here with source. And this is the moon energy. And that moon energy, of course, is connected to Cancer, but it's also the moon energy connecting to Pisces and Gemini too. And it's the emotions and it's all the stuff that they've been hiding here. And you can, you know that, you can see it. What's interesting though, is this is where your person's energy is the strongest Gemini. And yeah, there's some um, fear here. Look, there's like, they're it's the page of inspiration, by the way. <laughs> That's the page of wants. So that is an energy of coming. And you can see that they're planning it. There's like, a, they're stretching here. The cloud is like, you know, connecting us with the divine, but it's also can be indecision or bad decisions, but it's filled with rainbows of making the right decisions. So they're trying to find a way to come in here. It's like the hopeful energy, you know, they're stretching. It's also look the hair, which is a really spiritual connection. The kitties, also really a spiritual connection. Their per vibrations are also medically therapeutic, I wanna say. <laughs> you know, they're oftentimes in ancient times seen as guardian angels and spiritual protectors. They often, also I wanna say they, they literally, you know, they have eight chakras. And a lot of times if you've noticed that they sense They'll come to you where things are needing to be healed and they absorb that energy and they go off and expel it with their zoomies and however else. <laughs> but there's an energy here. We know there's a spiritual connection, but we also know that they have a lot of regret for how they handled things and they want to apologize. They're just trying to find a way in here because page energy can be that they're younger emotionally maybe or even chronologically in years. It's like a student energy, you know, but it is a messenger and moving forward and we see that. It's really clear. It's just not like, boom, they're here today right this minute. But I mean, you can see it. The chariot card is connecting 
directly with the sun. The bottom of the deck, look what's here. It's the two of emotions. That's the two of cups in reverse. So here's the thing. It's what we already know. It's Venus and Cancer energy. It's a validation of what we know that this is in no contact, no communication and or in separation reading. It's a breakup energy. Yeah, and they're wanting you to see that here. It's bad decision, a decision that wasn't made. Regardless, it's a validation of what the reading is. Let's see Twin Flame energy coming through, also Soulmate energy. Let's see if it wants to come back because I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling the bottoms up right now. I'm hearing that I need to shuffle the cards. Maybe it comes back, maybe it doesn't. Not even the point. The Seven of Emotions, interesting. So is this, is this an added, I think these are yours. There's three here, yeah. And No, that's too many. Okay, that's too many. I want to show you what's showing itself at the bottom of the deck. So that's the Ten of Voices, Gemini. That's the Sun and Gemini energy. So this is what you've been waiting for. Okay, we're going to talk about all of this here in just a moment. It's the Ten of Swords. And that Sun is in reverse here. And that's telling me that you've been waiting and it's been slow moving. It's been a temporary energy of you kind of getting the apology that you want and more. What else are you waiting for here? Is it a commitment as well? Because here's the thing. It's the ten, you know, it's the, it's not just the apology. It's a, it's a new, new start. They're asking for forgiveness here. And this is literally what you've been waiting for. So it is coming. They're stretching. They're getting ready to come. As weird as that sounds, like meditating on it as well. Look at that in the sun energy. The light literally changed. The seven of emotions, you know, this is Venus and Scorpio energy. So there is some commitment issue energy here, choices. You know, look, somebody kind of like holding on their finger in their mouth, just looking down here. It can't even be for some of you that it involves other romantic connections. It won't be the case for everybody. But you know, when you think of other fish in the sea, but it's it's emotional and it's a, it's a seven, you know, it's reflecting on it here. It's an energy of controlling what you can and letting go of what you can't. So it's a decision around your person. But I'm also wondering, and what I was feeling when it first came into, I'm wondering where you are with this energy, Gemini. It's sort of like a, also maybe a little bit of stuck energy, okay? They're coming here. You have been waiting for this apology, I will tell you that. And that's what's coming in. It's real strong. It's the Muse of Emotions, okay? So that's the King of Cups. So not only the apology that you've been waiting for, but you've been waiting for a declaration of their feelings. So this is interesting. It's a coming out of... It's like, it's like four of, no, what, yeah, I'm seeing the card and I, <laughs> it's because it's the fourth card. It's the emperor in reverse energy. It's like coming out of some immature energy and some ego here. It's what you've been waiting for, for them to admit how they feel about you. It's the king of cups. This is Pisces energy and it's a really emotionally supportive energy and empathetic, empathetic energy seeing all sides. Look, the ship is, this boat here actually is being steered right here toward the starfish, which is interesting. It's catty corner because it's a, it's a starfish, but it's a star and, and you know, and it's a fish. It's actually living in the divine and living in the emotional energy and it's connecting with the star card. They're going here right toward it. It's infinite possibilities, but it's making something work that wasn't. So they were hiding their feelings. There is some ego here that they're coming out of. It's just really clear. You know, you're connected. Look at you, but we know that you're not talking. They're moving forward here telling you how they feel. They're stretching. They're apologizing. Yeah, this is what you've been waiting for. This is what you've been waiting for. Ooh, it's the tower in reverse, and it's the four of inspiration. Whoa. So here's the thing. This is also somebody who's who has been afraid for some of you of maybe what the next step was or maybe just being afraid of that commitment energy because they weren't being honest with themselves. There may have been a tower moment here, but it's in reverse. So a lot of this too is, yeah, it's about honesty. And it's also just somebody who's afraid. And it came here right with the Four of Inspiration. That's the Four of Wands, Gemini. That's Venus and Aries energy. It's a, it can be a marriage card, but it's an incoming soulmate energy and the marriage energy. You know, it's this energy of maybe coming together and going, the commitment issues. What can I say? So whether there's other people 
patterns, thoughts in the way, whether there's a third party in the way or, or not, it's not really coming through, I have to say to you, it could be. Whatever that is, they've been afraid of that. You can see that in it, and it might still be here, but they're not going to be able to hide it for much longer. They're seeing things in a totally different way. And part of that is they're seeing how they feel about you. How they feel about you is uh, maybe it's just not what they expected. So they're asking for forgiveness. They're kind of farting around, as my mom would say, wasting time. Look, they're stretching. How long have they been stretching before they go into the chariot and move? That's the moon energy and the cancer energy, this love, the emotional energy. Literally, look, they're moving forward here to tell you how they feel. The yin yang energy here, the black and white balanced out. They're seeing things in a really different way. Also connecting here with the five of, mo of emotions in reverse. And this is asking for forgiveness and healing energy. And look what it's also asking for. And maybe that's why they're farting around. Because it's here with the tower card in reverse. So for some of you, that might be connecting with a tower moment. You know, it's not going to be for everybody. But it's here. And this is also connecting. They're sorry. They're wanting for, for forgiveness. Literally hoping you can move past it and not magically but you know work it out because the tower card in reverse again it's that fear of this so they're sorry for that and you can see that they're seeing things in a different way so maybe what they weren't ready for then they're ready for now they're just trying to get this courage here to come in and there's really an apology here and they're sharing how they feel they're seeing it and they're sharing it this is where they've been it's a spinner for me big time I feel you here too of just maybe not being sure but this is a spinner for me because it's it's like where they've been and we know that they're getting this clarity here and by the way it can be for some of you that you're going to see your person in person look it's the hierophant wanting to reveal because this is also a celebratory energy it can be a homecoming energy of coming back together for some of you an actual dwelling or city state country but it can be at an actual event around friends and family. There's a reunion energy here. So it can be that there's going to be some kind of declaration of love or emotional, I want to say apology in a public place somewhere for some of you. It won't be for everybody because this is also an energy of what they weren't maybe ready for or what they were running from, you know, so that energy is here. The Hierophant is also showing itself, and it's interesting because I was feeling some, possibly some third-party interference. So it can be for some of you, there's family and friends involved somewhere in this connection, you know, and it's coming through strong with your, with your person's energy, because this can be, it's a, a divine masculine energy, you know, it's Taurus energy, and it can be around other people who have expectations, you know kind of um, want somebody to do things a certain way. So it can be that there's energy around the event of interference, but it can also be in their mind. But I feel like they're trying to get past that. You know, and there's, for some of you, there's a really strong connection with other people here. You can see it. But this is also a, a card of commitment. It can be marriage as well. And slow moving energy. So, and it's long-term energy but it also tells us that yeah there's this energy maybe of being afraid of that of taking too long running from that whether you were in a long-term commitment or it's what the outcome was hopeful or it's where you were heading so we see that as on their mind look wow okay so it's interesting how your reading's going today it's the ace of emotions it's cancer pisces scorpio energy and this is coming in with an offer really emotional offer it's very much around the love we have the ace of emotions here look it's wanting to be here it's the magician in reverse okay this isn't surprising i don't love this but this is how it is it's the hermit in reverse yeah because there there has been a stuck energy look and what is that other pentacle this is unfulfilled potential and potential in the magician card and you're here in this energy gemini gemini virgo mercury energy as well and it's the unfulfilled potential. It's wasting the resources of the magician, you know, because the magician has access to all of it, water, air, earth, and fire, the love, the friendship, the clarity, the commitment energy, um, all the practicalities around that, the wands, when it's happening, leading with the heart, all of that. The magician has access to all of that. And it's been, it's unfulfilled here. You can see it. And there was hope that it would change. And we see that it is. And a lot of that is connection to the emotional stuff that they've been holding back. The hermit energy here also in reverse. You know, this is 
Virgo energy and Mercury energy. So somebody else is stuck in their head because you go here to figure out what you want. Look at this, to get clarity. This is spinning for me, as I said. They're getting this clarity. They have this clarity. It's a really clear. There was a really strong illumination coming through with your reading. But you go here to figure out what you want, you know? So you see here that that's where they've been. And there's still the stuck energy here. But we also see that it's going to be changing. It's moving here. They're just afraid of something. And it's around the Hierophant and the Two of Pentacles energy. So this is also coming through. Look, it's bringing in the Six of Emotions. That's the Six of Cups. Because this Two of Pentacles energy is an overwhelming energy. It's a struggling energy. It's around commitment. Look at this. So for some of you, it's really clear that it's just somebody who, your person, who is just afraid of commitment. Who's been running from commitment. Literally running from how they feel about you. You know? putting it into an unfulfilled potential energy, but they're also getting the clarity now. That chariot is spinning for me because I also feel that they have been running from their emotions and they're not going to be anymore. And there's the stuck energy is strong, but I wanna tell you, it's not just about running from their emotions or commitment. It can be that there are other things in their life that because this is, you know, it's the seven of materials and it's coming in reverse. And it's funny, for a minute there, I thought it was the Two of Pentacles, didn't I? Yeah, I thought it was the Two of Pentacles. It's struggling energy. But that message still needed to come through. So, okay, there we go. So it came through. But the Seven of Pentacles energy is that you've been waiting for them to get clear. It's still the same for me about what they want and whether there was or is something else involved, whether it's an actual romantic connection, family or friends energy, because that's real strong, that there's some interference in their head stuck energy because it's in reverse here so it's like not wanting to wait because you've been waiting and waiting again this is spinning for me because it all i was also being shown it in reverse so that is the energy that they're getting the clarity and you actually saw that you can see it throughout your whole reading here in particular with the sun energy and the star energy as it came in so the stuck energy of not knowing i, I think they're knowing and just will they will they reach you in time and yeah, look, because the Six of Pentacles is connecting with the Chariot card here of waiting for that to move, waiting for them to come here with how they feel about you in this Muse of Emotions and with an offer. What is the offer? You know, it can sometimes be a marriage proposal, but it can also be talking again. It can be to a message, you know, whatever the case is, because the apologetic energy is strong too. So I know you've also been waiting for uh, an apology. You know, you've been really waiting for an apology. Also, look at the Six of Cups energy. I feel like I brought that forward because I was feeling it, and it's here. It's the Six of Emotions, and this is the Sun and Scorpio energy. There's a really nostalgic energy here, wondering when they're going to see you again. For some of you, they already know. They might even be orchestrating that. But it's living in the, it's in the past energy of remembering it. When things were working, when they weren't. Because right before the Six of Cups is the Five of Cups in here, which we also see in reverse. And we know that they have regret. That they left you feeling like they don't love you. And they're thinking a lot about when things were working. And yeah, and, and when, when things went wrong. This is childlike energy here is connecting. It looks like Saturn kind of spinning like it was no problems, you know, no cares in the world. And for some of you, that is bringing in an energy of childhood. So it can be a connection back, going really back, nostalgic energy. But that's also a connection for those of you on a twin flame journey, which is not everybody, but it's here. The soul connection, soulmate energy, past life energy is a real particular kind of reading. But I know there's somebody here that needed to hear that. Whatever the case is, it's an energy of nostalgia and wanting to come in here and really you just see it so they we know that they want to apologize and again there's a fear around how they feel about you and for some it's because there's other things in the way and for some it's just them in the way but they know how they feel about you and now now they know how they feel about you now it's not what they thought it's way bigger than what they realized here it's way bigger they've been stuck they're coming out of it again that's a spinner for me and the unfulfilled potential you know, for me, it's like a, well, it's a spinner here. I'm going to bring in another deck because it's, it hasn't reached. Maybe it did and then it went back again where it's supposed to reach. 
it's unfulfilled, but it's still here. You see it coming in. Will you still be here? Because, you know, it's funny. I thought that was the Two of Pentacles. It took me a minute. The Seven looks a lot like a Two here and how we write it here in Austria. <laughs> then I thought, no, wait, of course. That's the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. But it did bring in the Two of Pentacles. That's the energy that wanted to come in. Oh, wow. So I just picked up another deck, and look what's at the bottom of it. It's the Chariot card again here. It's the Chariot card coming in again. It's Cancer energy and it's the Moon energy. Look, it's the Divine Feminine energy. The thing is, is you have to you had to tell riddles to what is in the traditional and the Rider Waite deck, you know, to get get through for things to move to get to the Chariot to move things. It's the Yin Yang energy. It's really just a a play on balancing those energies, you know, and being able to. The polar opposites, the yin yang energy coming into union and being able to move forward from, yeah, well, here, the chariot energy. It's, it's an action. It's changing things. It's a new way of coming to, and it's the moon energy, and that's around the emotional energy, which you see is really clear here, of coming here and communicating in a new way. And, yeah, so I'm going to... Keep this because it's yours, but I'm also not feeling, and it's connecting here right with your other chariot. I'm not feeling bottoms up. I want to move the energy, but that wanted to be yours. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. It's the king of pentacles. It's the five of cups in reverse again. So this king of pentacles, Virgo ruled by Mercury energy, has that pentacle thinking, well, yeah, for a long time. Very practical. Where is that pentacle going? So there is a pentacle involved here, and it's coming with the five of cups in reverse again. So they're asking for forgiveness, both for when they weren't ready for this, and they're also bringing it. They're also bringing it here. Yeah, this is, again, it's, it's, there, it's a clean slate energy as well. I want to connect these because it's an energy of moving on from what happened, you know. And it's not magic. We know that actually it's quite literally here. There's a lot that needs to be worked out, but it is here. And wow, so look what is just pulling out. <laughs> it's the star card. It's coming in again. So we've seen the chariot card come back and we've seen the star card come back. Look at this. Faded connection. Holding on literally to the star. It's the hopeful energy for things to start up again, for things to hope that, yeah, for clarity and making the decision, but also for your person, because you already know how they feel. That's the thing. I just feel like, you know, for whatever reason, they're just now seeing it. I'm wondering, you know, are they going to be too late? Because it really is what you've been waiting for. Is this, this is definitely an apology and it's so much more than that as well. It's what you've been waiting for. Look at this. For this renewal, for things to move again. The star card coming back again. A validation. The 17, of course, coming to an 8. That is an, an action number. And that 8, of course, again, on the side is an infinity symbol. That's the yin-yang energy. It's also connecting, well, for some of you, your twin flame journey, but a forever love. And Libra. Balancing out those energies to come. And coming from a balanced place. Look what is at the bottom of the deck. It's the King of Cups again. So the King of Cups has come back. Gemini, it's the Muse of Emotions here. The King of Cups twice. The King of Pentacles. The Star card twice. The Chariot card twice. The Sun energy. It's real clear. The Four of Inspiration. The Six of Cups, which we saw coming. So they're coming with how they feel about you. Look, they're watching. Gemini, just let me turn the camera on and off because it's about to turn off and I'm actually catching it, <laughs> which is rare. So just a minute. Okay. Hi. Look at the sailboat here and look where their eyes are. Look at their side eye looking at it. That's powered by the wind. That's air energy. So that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Your energy's here. It's on the divine. It's on the love. It's on the emotional energy. You can see. Look, they know. Look at the, look at it beaming here. They know how they feel, what they want, how they feel about you is they're seeing it now. That's the thing. They've always known it, but they're really seeing it in a different way. And it's also Page of Swords energy. They're watching. Look, they know that they're, they're still, <laughs> they haven't gone anywhere, but they're making sure that you haven't. That Seven of Pentacles in reverse energy of you maybe just being really tired of waiting here. You know, look at the starfish. 
that has infinite possibilities, but it's also making something work that wasn't working. This King of Cups is sitting in all this emotional energy this whole time. This whole time, which she knew, which is also the frustration here, because they were just stuck. They're, they're just not stuck. It's just a matter of timing here. It's really very clear, and the reunion energy is strong. So whether you will be seeing them, or they're orchestrating it, or it's just about a message, I think it's a lot, a lot more than just a message here. But that is definitely coming through the communication. And they're making sure that you haven't left. They're checking up on you. That's Page of Swords energy. Okay, Gemini, I want to bring in some channeled love messages. Messages from your person. Messages from their higher self. I am making a plan to come to you. Yeah, it's really super clear here. I'm putting this with the Ace of Cups. With the Sun energy. With the Chariot card twice here. That's the chariot energy. Are you thinking about me? Wanted to be with the king of pentacles. Interesting. And the five of cups in reverse. Who's hoping that you will forgive them. It's really hard living without you. Yeah, so they were just so afraid of change, you know. That tower in reverse connecting with the hierophant and the four of inspiration, the four of wands. You are the sunshine of my life. This is a really intense energy as it came in today. Is this something they say to some of you? Yeah, but it's also here they're saying it to you. This almost looks like a sunflower on their head with the, with the crown chakra, you know, because that's finding a solution here to get this outcome. And the sunflower can't live without the sun. It's like a mandala. It's, you know, a prism. What is that, a prism? And you turn things around, the light changing, you know? It's like, yeah. This is really super clear. Gemini, I wish you were mine. Look, right here with the star. Star twice here. There it is. Excuse me. And that's the having faith, the hopeful. And that's also bringing in Nine of Cups energy because it is a biggest wish energy, you know? I wish you were mine literally looking up at the star making a wish. It's also bringing in, for some of you, that nocturnal energy that somebody is, is making actual wishes. Our souls are connected. That's here. That's the Six of Cups. My beloved. You are my other half. For some of you, it's your twin flame. It's not for everybody, but it is here. But that's also soulmate energy. It's bringing in the lover's card as well. These are coming off. Those are very clearly yours. You have changed me for the better. Wanted to come in. I'm still checking up on you. <laughs> that's the way, that's how the Page of Swords made its way in because I felt the energy. Here it is, it's validation. Yeah, they are. They're scared that they are going to lose you. They're really asking you for forgiveness. They're realizing a lot here now. This is different than what they thought. They do want, not want to lose you and never see or talk to you again. And that's actually going here with the... Yeah, with the, with the second King of Cups, your last message, don't give up on us. Channeled song messages, Gemini. Love messages through, okay, that doesn't even belong in here, but it's obviously yours. And these are yours too. Love messages through channeled song, through song messages. So it can be that you are musicians, you know, there's playlists communicating through music and it can be songs that you are hearing already a lot or that resonate for you or for the connection sometimes it's songs you don't even know or like it's, the message is there you know and if you feel like it's not it's not maybe it's not for you or maybe you're sending it there's always a sentiment behind a song you know and I miss you I love you and there are things within any message or song or tarot really everything here today that's going to resonate with you that I may not even know Maybe somebody here, you know, has a sun tattoo on them or a starfish. You know what I mean? So you take things as they resonate for you that I might not even be able to validate, but that you will validate when you see them. The longing for you never quiets. So that was uh, in this deck <laughs> in your song messages. So it's the laughter we will remember whenever we remember the way we were. The way we were, Barbara Streisand, that's the Six of Cups energy. You're asking me, will my love grow? I don't know. I don't know. 
You stick around now, it may show, I don't know, I don't know, the Beatles something written by George Harrison. Yeah, some of you aren't, you know? We see that in the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Fly, 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 high against the sky. So high I almost touched the sky. Thank you, thank you. Thank God for you, the wind beneath my wings. Bette Midler, written by Jeff Silber and Larry Henley. Those are yours, I feel. No, that's too many. They're not. These are, though. And that... That one just went back in. And that, that's yours. And that's it. Okay, but what's on the other side here? Because I'm hearing that I need to turn that over. And then we're going to look at these last song messages and close your reading today, Gemini. When you're lost and you're alone and you can't get back again, I will find you, darling and bring you home by your side, Sade. A winding road, heavy load, is nothing new to see. We know that through the bad times I'll have you and you'll have me, Aretha Franklin, united together. I was born to love you with every single beat of my heart. Yes, I was born to take care of you, Queen. I was born to love you. I'm so in love with you, whatever you want to do is all right with me. Let's stay together, Tina Turner. Rest in peace, Tina Turner. You know, it's like a, uh, because they don't really want, it's not really okay, they don't want to let you go. It's a connecting to that seven of pentacles, because then they're like, well, let's stay together. Well, here we are again. I guess it must be fates, the star card twice here. We've tried it on our own, but deep inside we've known we'd be back to set things straight. Sharon Peter Cetera, written by Tom Shaw and Dean Pitchford, after all. That's the Two of Cups here twice. In your last channeled song message today, Gemini, you will remember when this is blown over and everything's gone, All every, everything's all by the way. When I grow older, I will be there at your side to remind you how I still love you. I still love you, love of my life, queen. Written by Freddie Mercury. Interesting, that Mercury, you know, rest in peace, amazing Freddie Mercury. But that Mercury is the last name here, which is your ruling planet. Communication, planet of the mind. Beautiful Gemini, that's your reading. I really enjoyed your reading, and I hope you did too. And if you did, I would really appreciate it if you liked the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. This really helps the channel grow, so thank you from the bottom of my heart, and thank you for being here today. It goes without saying, I love you very much, and I'm sending that love and that light your way and hoping, yeah, for the best outcome. I look forward to seeing you at another love reading. In the meantime, take care. Bye, Gemini.